Hi, let's uh, continue to our project. Uh, in this video, I will add some more uh, functionality to our duty table form. Uh, let's look at our form. Uh, in this video, I want to add a, a duty status uh, uh, change uh, button. Uh, so I will add a button here, and when I click uh, the button, there will be a dialogue, and in, in this dialogue, I will choose uh, a status, and uh, records uh, will update uh, uh, with this status. So let's uh, start to do that. First of all, uh, I need to add a button, uh, of course. But before that, let's close uh, this range and see all the records. Uh, you know, this was uh, for a demo purpose. I add only create and schedule records for init methods, but uh, let's close this one uh, for demo purpose. Okay, uh, now I need to add a button here. We added this copy button before, uh, now we need another button. Uh, and this is change status button. Let's create this one. Okay. Now I need to overwrite click method. Okay. Also, let's write a code here. I am adding new method here. Okay. okay. Now As I mentioned, we used uh, we we are using elements for uh, main uh, forms method. Um, let's go to our method. Okay. Now, first of all, I need to ask user to select a, a duty status. For that, I need to create a dialog here, and let's start to write a proper code for this one. First of all, let's have a duty status variable. Now I need I need a dialog. Okay, I create a new dialog. Uh, for this dialog, I need a dialog field. Okay, <clears throat> now it's almost ready. Let's uh, let's create a new. <coughs> dialog and uh, show to users now uh, i created this uh, dialog object and dialog object has add field and add field value uh, methods. I will use add field for this one, and ident it's ask me identifier name. Uh, what's our identifier? Our identifier actually is the enum. So I need to use enum 
inam str function and st duty set. Now I, I add a, a duty status field to our dialog. It's, it's enough for us because I just want to get a, a status for update. Now I can uh, run my dialog and uh, get back the uh, selection of user. But for this, let's use this. Okay. I am using if because if the user cancels the dialog, I don't want to uh, do anything. Now I need to uh, I need to get uh, this uh, duty status uh, value. For that, uh, I will use this. Uh, dialog field first. Okay. Now I have a duty status which uh, user uh, selected. Now I can start to uh, update my record. Uh, for this, if I want to update one record, I can write uh, a code like this. Mm. But first, I need a, a table buffer uh, for this. Okay. Uh, if I want to update something, I need to open a transaction. So, Let's write TTS begin and TTS commit. And now we need to select our record and uh, we will update uh, after that. Let's select. This is my data source, and uh, uh, when I uh, focus on one recount in grid, uh, data source uh, table buffer uh, filled with that record. So if I write this one, I am uh, I can get duty ID from this focused record. So it's perfect for uh, one record update. Now, if everything is okay. Now it's almost ready. After that, we need to refresh our form because we did some update in our table and this uh, must be shown in uh, grid. Uh, so we need to write a refresh code. For refresh, we need to use data source. And for this, uh, uh, for this code, this search is quite good because I want to stay on this focus record and I write this one. Now it's uh, it's perfect for one record. Uh, let's uh, run and uh, try if it's work. We forget to add text to our button. Let's give it name for our button. Okay. Uh, let's run again. Also, I forget to add for update key here. Uh, be, without for update, we, we, we could not uh, update our table buffer. It's uh, crucial to add for update. We don't need first only here because the record 
record with a primary key here, but we need for update. Uh, it, it, it must be there for update. Okay. Now let's test, for example, this record, changing status on schedule, for example. Okay. And now it's working. Okay. What if I want to change three record status? As you can see, the change status be, uh, is passive because we didn't select a multi select uh, this button, the multi select button. Uh, if if this functionality needed, we can do that too. Let's look at this one. And let's first we need to focus on multi select. Yes, and now we can uh, select more record, and this button will not be passive. But it's not enough. We need to change our code too. Uh, let's look at our uh, code. This code is working for only one record. If you want to uh, select uh, and update all the selected records in data source, you need to use a code uh, like uh, this. Uh, you can write a four for this. Let's write a four. And I need a data table buffer for this one, and I want to. I need to add this like this. Okay, this ternary operation again. It was true or cursor and now I need to write this one so Let's get our code. Now, uh, actually, it seems complicated, but it's not. Uh, it's just a uh, four, uh, and uh, you uh, you are selecting the selected records one by one. So this table buffer is our selected record. It's perfect. First, I need to select this record as update. So I can write like this. Okay. It's it's same th thing with for update, and this one is doing the same thing. Now I can uh, update like this. Now. It's, it's okay. Let's close these these ones. Okay. Now let's try. Now let's try. For example, these three records. Let's change status. As you can see, it's now working. For example, let's suspend this one. And as you can see, it's suspended. Okay. Now it's enough for this video. Let's look uh, what we've done. Uh, first of all, we created a new button. And this, sorry, let's close this one. We selected uh, multi select yes. Uh, and after that, 
we write a code and this code we create a new dialog and in this dialog we choose an SD status, uh, duty status and with this duty status we uh, we uh, we select uh, data source uh, marked records and uh, update duty status uh, with the selection of uh, uh, this dialog and after that we refreshed our data source and our grid and it's now working. I hope it's helping happy daxing.